Dungeons and Dragons Online. Our good old DDO. of the treasure bonus items would increase the uh, roll on the daily dice roll. Probably not, I'm thinking. Potion of Stone Skin. Let's take a look at our friends list. Guaca is on. He's running the level three though. There's Mega TJ. Hiya, Eddie. Or I guess I could start it without him. He's in a group, so... I guess I could sell those. Level 12. Is there an auction house guy here? I think that's a banker. 
Yes, banker went. No, no auction house, huh? Okay. Um, otherwise, they're just taking up space. Because I don't think either of those gems is really something I need. Wisdom is good for spot rolls, I guess. Um, do any of my items have a slot available? This one already has a dexterity item in it, so... That has an empty blue slot. I could put the diamond of wisdom in the boots, I guess. I don't wear them much. Um, this one has a yellow augment slot and a colorless slot. I could put the, the wisdom in the colorless spot on here. But that is an item that I wouldn't wear except when I hit level 20. I prefer to put it in a lower level item so that in my reincarnation lives I could get the bonus earlier. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I can just sell it, I guess. If I change my mind later today, I can always buy them back. All right. Now then. my way over towards uh, Madstone Crater. I'm not 100% familiar with all of the uh, rare spawns in this zone. Oops, turn on my auto attack. South. We need to go south. <laughs> we got giants. If you're ever going to do these zones, it's best not to have somebody over high leveled because they will kill your experience. The 
if I'm going to get the Slayer Dragons. Where do you find a dragon in here? Must be a rare spawn, because I, I don't remember ever seeing a living dragon in here. I've seen lots of the crystallized version. But I do not know where to go to find a living dragon. an explore point. Cleaner crystals, eh? Hmm, a fire giant that actually has fire resistance. Or cold resistance, rather. That's pretty rare. They're usually vulnerable to cold.
this mad stone. We're not quite ready to go in there yet. Want to have uh, some assistance when I do that. Troll. <clears throat> Big creatures got to watch out for us hobbits. We'll bite your legs off. Got a few giants coming after me now. <laughs> Just a few. That's a lot of giants, actually. Uh, <clears throat> I should probably try to clear these giants first. Just being chased by about a dozen giants. Man, they can see you from a long way off. And it's, they're awfully fast. Oh, some of them rubber banded back to their spawn points though, so...
Oh, okay. Cool. What is this, a, a second paralysis dagger? So now you can dual wield them? Oh, okay. A, a second paralysis weapon. <laughs> But now you can dual wield daggers, which are your speciality, right? You're you're better with daggers than kukris. Uh. Ah well, once we finish up the uh, giant hold, I guess we could run over to House P and do some. Oh, you already did house P today? <laughs> okay. But like you said, the uh, the tokens ransack out immediately, right? And you, the, the second run in the same day, you just can't get any more than one a day from any particular chest. Well, since Giant Hold doesn't seem to give tokens, we can just finish this up. We can get our uh, end reward for the... Uh, um, the story arc here and then because uh, I mean tomes are really really nice <laughs> so, like I could understand someone running this uh, this arc day after day after day to get all the tomes they can get this is a place to avoid And I guess this means well, yeah. But but once you're flagged, you you stay flagged, right? So well, shroud. Once you get flagged, you stay flagged. Um, Yeah, once per life, yeah. I. That is like Shroud. Shroud, Shroud works that way, too. <laughs> so, okay. The only reason you need to run the... Uh, yeah, if you reincarnate, you have to run it again. But, you know, you get Tomes or a massive XP hit. <laughs> um... Yeah, the only reason you would need to run the flagging quest for Shroud is if you want to make a second uh, piece of green steel in that particular life. So. Okay. All right, so I don't think we need the optional chest, right? The one with the uh, the key that you run around the lava to get. I don't, it's it, since you don't get any epic chests here anyway. A giant adventurer pack. <laughs> Stupid invisible ogres. 
You're just delaying us going in the door, you stupid ogre. Okay, so in we go. These caves are annoying because they, they don't have their own maps. You have to sort of remember where you've been in each cave. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the one where there's a key on the other side. Um, did you want to go around and get it, or not really? I think it's just a bonus chest. Um, though it might be. I don't know. I haven't haven't done this in about a week. Uh, there should be a. A skeleton on a beach similar to the one on this side that has a key sitting next to it. Maybe that key opens the door in the tunnel here. No key? <laughs> These have a lot more hit points than the uh, they did in the original uh, run through. <laughs> Okay.
So I've got the Nightmare Lance now. I haven't used it on anything yet, but <laughs> I'll have to remember it's here when I uh, next fight something tough. Well, that's the one, the clicky that I saw for uh, uh, damage. It, was that a bad choice? I mean, I can always pick multiple, uh, all three. Uh, well, it's range damage. I like range damage, uh, as you can't tell, as you can tell from my uh, predilection for crossbows. Okay, I think we go up this ramp, right? Or yeah, here we go. Or it's not really a ramp, it's just a little raised area around the edge. Okay. Um, here we go. Ah! Lava. Don't like lava. Lava is not fun. <laughs> it's, it's not a jacuzzi like your NPCs seem to think, right? You often catch your NPCs in the lava for some reason. It's like, silly cleric. It's not a jacuzzi. There are no signs of a spellcaster or the giant seers ahead. Only piles of gargantuan bones. Okay, need to make sure to kill the enchanter and not the uh, seer. <laughs> oh, did you did you you attack the seer and it it just went neutral? I guess. Oh, thanks. Thank goodness you can't actually kill it, huh? Well, fortunately, it doesn't let you actually kill him because you need him for the <laughs> for the crystal. These guardians are some new magic, says the seer. They protect the South Crystal. Come quickly. Seen from the crater floor lies ahead. A shimmering magic crystal to spot.
At least in this one, they all spawn out of the same door. I know what he's worried about. <laughs> They're not even getting out of the door, practically. Silly minotaurs. I think by jumping down there, we might have bypassed uh, where we needed to go, though, I think. Um, see, that's the entrance. There was the first one. There's the second one. I think we need to go back up there, and, and there's a, a side uh, tunnel that leads to the next one. I just saw giants down here and thought, hey, I could shoot them. <laughs> But, uh... Yeah, I really... I really need to go to a... a scroll store and get an expeditious retreat. <laughs> scroll. Oh, did we not talk to this guy? I thought we did. And he teleported up there and we killed the... things, and... Okay, I don't know what he's doing back down here, but fine, fine.
There we go. Beneath the crater. Here we are. Here we come to save the day. Oh wait, that's Mighty Mouse. Two spawn points here, there's one below and one above.
right then. Um, way did we come in? There should be another way to go. Aha! I see. Since there are enemies over here, this must be the other way. <laughs> Since we're pretty good at slaughtering them as we go. <laughs> Yikes! That hurt. Ouch! My head, my head, don't hit my little head! meant I needed to need to check something. Shouldn't be more than about a minute or a few seconds here. Okay. 
All right, let me get back in the uh, game here. die it also turns off the auto attack <laughs> it's like you can hit tab all you want to target them but you can't kill them that way without a weapon Chewing on him down there. <laughs> and it won't let me target them until they're right at the edge already shooting. That's not fair. I should be able to shoot them the instant they spawn. Of course he turned invisible. Jerk. So there's an invisible ogre up here somewhere. Okay, the spire is back at the entrance, isn't it, basically? Ah, we jump down to this door here, and we can get back there fairly quickly. Just go right across and up we go. Large central spire lies beyond the gate of bone. Does the caster of the madness magic wait atop that peak?
Of course, by the time I get up here, it's probably mostly dead, right? <coughs> nope, not quite. Okay. down which way uh, oh just dimension door okay You were going to skip the, uh, uh, you're going to use your one a day to skip the one, um, that other quest. The one we did, you did an extra time yesterday, or we're going to do. Oh, okay, you did? Okay. Let me, uh, you want to set up a, uh, a raid group, uh, LFM while we go and do the uh, um, side, <coughs> literal side quest, because it comes out of the side of the, uh, of the tour. The side door of the tour. It's up to you whether you want to do the uh, bonus dragons at the end, but uh, return to Giant Hold Tour. Well, after this, we can do the raid. I mean, we might as well, right? The, uh... Oh, you need to get a new hireling? Okay. Oh yeah, I've, uh, I've done it. Um, in fact, I did it uh, on Heroic uh, about six days ago. I'm amazed how many people don't know how to do the puzzle in there. It's... What, the raid? There's no reason not to do it on Epic. You need your you need the special scales anyway, right? For your, your black dragon armor you wanted to make? Well, the, um, 
Well, yeah, they would uh, they would drop from the raid. Uh, but why would you run the raid on heroic? You wouldn't get the you wouldn't get the epic scales that way. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why maybe we should put the LFM up now and, and have more time to uh, find uh, some helpers for it. Um, when you put the LFM up, just say, have puzzle solver. Um, what is it called? Let me, uh, let me search for giant hold. Um, the raid, the raid, the raid. Um, well, that's interesting. I think it's just called Giant Hold Tor. Though it doesn't say raid on it. Oh, no, wait, it's the Reaver's Fate. The Reaver's Fate. And there's an epic-only thing called the Fall of Truth, and I don't know where to get that. Uh, but the Reaver's Fate is the one you want to, uh, Put up. You don't have that quest in your journal. Uh, it's in mine. Um, I just went to the uh, the adventure compendium and typed in giant hold. The Reaver's fate. I hit share just in case. I don't know. <laughs> well, you'll you'll be able to get it after we uh, um, after we finish this one, right? Hey, this is the this is the basically the last flagging quest for it. Uh, no, no. Um, tell when you put the LFM up, say have puzzle solver because I could solve the puzzle. In fact, every time I've tried to solve the puzzle, I have 100% solved it. Um, it's basically, have you ever played the old board game Mastermind where you have to guess uh, like five different colors? Um, yeah, just delete, just delete. Um, well, anyway, you... Uh, uh, the board game mastermind. The the other guy puts in uh, five random you know color pegs in his end of the board, and each time you guess, he has to put down a number of uh, white and black pegs, telling you whether you have any uh, any in the right slots. Uh, a correct color in the right slot is a black peg. A correct color in the wrong slot is a white peg, and you have so many guesses to try to guess his color combination. Well, the puzzle for the, uh, the, the, you know, the Reaper, the, the fate, the, the quest, the raid, the raid, sorry, the next one is basically that, but with one less color. So it's incredibly easy to do if you, if you know how to, how to do it. <laughs> um, all right, so... Hello, Ignos. Did you think because we let you in, you could pass freely here? Stand in the center of the circle, where the air around the circle crackles with magic. The giant's eyes are dull and clouded with gravity. Okay. We have to stand over here to start it. Yeah, I don't know where to. I've, I don't think I've ever seen Fall of Truth. I see it on. I see it in the compendium. Oh, okay. Sorry. I should be able to just run in circles here. I. My bad. I, I, I thought you would you would have gotten it up uh, before then. <laughs> yeah, as long as we say we've got a puzzle solver, there might be a lot of people going, "Oh, I don't have to solve the stupid puzzle." 
<laughs> Despite how simple it is, I, I, it's amazing how many people don't know how to solve it. It's like... <laughs> I mean, it's it's easier than some of the tile puzzles in this game. They give you way more guesses than you actually need to solve it. Silly giants. Hey there, Shinku. Have you got your ears on? Can you hear voice chat or... gonna do is uh, the Reaver's fate is the fall of truth puzzle the same puzzle oh it's the epic version okay as long as the oh there's no puzzle in the epic version I I wasn't aware of that I apologize uh, yeah okay if it if there's no puzzle in the uh, in the epic version, then we don't need to uh, to solve it. We are currently in um, the last of the flagging quest on the side of the tour. Yeah, let me dump the hireling. Um, there we go. Uh, <laughs> you might want to get rid of yours too. We're yeah. If you want to join us in the last quest here, um, it'll it'll speed it up a bit. Uh, and we can get more people faster that way. Um, you could probably dump the cleric. Um, you could probably dump the cleric. Well, if yeah, if somebody joins, you can dump the cleric. If if not, well, it's nice to have somebody who who can res. Yeah. Yeah, we're in uh, Return to Giant Hold Tor on Epic Elite right now. If you want to join us. Join you? Why? Are you coming apart? Grab that rune. The fiery wall in the hall is vanishing. Perhaps others of these ancient giantish barriers will be activated as well. All right. Um, we probably don't need to. Uh, yeah. We, we probably don't need to do the optional dragons or anything. We're just going to finish this up and then we can do the raid. 
That'll save us some time. Do you guys know if uh, you can get any of the epic dragon scales in this dungeon if you do do the optional dragons? I don't think we need to do them, but... Or do they only drop from the raid? So if you wanted to say make a uh, one of the epic uh, dragon scale armors, uh, you can get you can get dragon scales from well, I think it's the dragon uh, chests right from this raid so, or dungeon. So if you uh, wanted to f get those. Okay, there's another lever around here somewhere that will open the door. I never did figure out where that other lever is because somebody else would always pull it while I was searching. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess I still won't know where that lever is. <laughs> I take it uh, the other levers over there where you are, Shinku. Okay, so the doors should be open. I totally went the wrong direction. <laughs> God. All right. All right, so uh, I guess we just exit out and uh, get ready to do the raid. So the epic version doesn't even have a puzzle? That seems weird to me, that they would remove the puzzle for the epic version. 
They made it easier. So usually it's the other way around. Oh, totally different fight? Okay. You just still need to get the uh, the things overhead spinning or something? Or, I don't know. Uh, so you, you go to the same quest giver as you would for the raid, but it's... Uh, Oh, it still gave me the Reaver's Fate. Okay, let me, uh, where's, where do we go to get the, uh, the epic, uh, raid then? Sunday, Monday, epic raids. Storm Reaver. Oh, I wasn't even aware if he was here. I th <laughs> the Storm Reaver's in Giant Hold? Hold on, uh... I know he's a giant. Um, well, I didn't see a share thing pop up. Um, where is he? Somewhere in the zone, I know. Uh, I just don't know. You're next to him now. Where, where are you? I see a cloud giant. I don't see a storm reaver here. Uh, is he invisible? <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. I need to turn in. <clears throat> I, I, I went out of the thing and then, uh, forgot to turn it in. Let me get, <laughs> let me go turn that quest in and then he should reappear. Okay. It's like, derp. <laughs> it's like, silly. Nazgashi, you know how these raids work. Okay, there we go. Now it's shared. The Fall of Truce. So, okay, there he is. Hello, Storm Reaver. Okay, um, see if you, can you make it a raid group? So that way we can get more people if uh, more people are joining. Why don't, uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at setting up LFMs. I always mess it up somehow. <laughs> Oh, uh, to turn it into a raid group, uh, right-click on anyone in the party and say, Set to Raid Group. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, let me go uh, sell and repair while we see if anyone else wants to join.
And of course on Epic, 35 resist is not is no great shakes, right? It's not super... Uh, Oh, so he needed to do the quest that we just did. <laughs> um, And uh, though I though I know how to do the the heroic raid, I have never done the uh, the epic raid on this one. So yeah, a few more would probably be advisable. <laughs> um. That's, uh, I'm pretty good. Uh, I got a, uh, repeating heavy, uh, epic crossbow that I've upgraded a little bit. I can do ranged DPS if necessary. Um, I also just got, uh, Nightmare Lance and I've got, uh, a five rank. Uh, rune arm. Uh, is he? Uh, does can he take um, acid damage or no? Is he immune? If he's immune to acid damage, three pairs of dragons and giants have to be killed at the same time. Kill the eye in the sky. Kill the storm retriever. Hmm. Okay, so. The rune arm won't help on the black dragon, or and probably not his assistant either. The thing that hover, hovers over the middle of the map? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, oh, a big crystal. I remember shooting crystals in the air. <laughs> So is it is it similar to the uh, shroud in that it's uh, shielded until the uh, other enemies are down? Okay, so you could just shoot it starting as soon as it's there. Okay. And I assume that the pairs dragon and dragon giant pairs work just like the ones in uh, the raid the the uh, the side tour, right? The dragon and the giant. Uh, have to be of each type need to be down at the same time or they you know instantly respawn right or respawn within a few seconds are they all in the same room or are the dragons in separate chambers if 
they're all in the same ooh that's gonna be <clears throat> that's gonna be chaos <laughs> that's okay I'm a chaotic uh, halfling Since I'm probably the weakest person here damage-wise, um, I can shoot the eye in the sky with my crossbow and try to avoid getting aggro from anything if I can help it. <laughs> um, we do not, we, looks like we don't have a healer unless the paladin is... Are you specting healing paladin or are you a tanker? Looks... DPS, DPS, okay figures. <laughs> so if I'm shooting the eye in the sky, I'm just going to have to av try to avoid uh, getting aggro. Um, if I, you know. I do have a once per rest uh, raise dead item. If, if somebody else falls down, I could try to get them back up. What do you mean by the ring? I'm wearing two rings. They're probably not the ring you're thinking of. Uh, oh, my, my raised dead item is a, uh, a, a necklace. Um, there you go. It also raises my uh, hit points by quite a bit. The problem I have is that it has the taint of Shavarath on it. So I can't wear it at the same time as I wear my regeneration item, which also has the taint of Shavarath. So I, I need to run uh, more shrouds. Speaking of the shrouds, uh, if anyone wants to help me after this, I believe my timer is up. Let me, uh, let me check the uh, quest uh, timer thing. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, if, it, if anyone wants to help me on a shroud run after this, I do need to get a, a, a completion today. It's like, it takes a while to get uh, 20 completions, <laughs> and I need to do that in order to get the... Uh, oh, you're, you're not uh, flagged for shroud? I mean, at the very least, you should try to get, do it just for favor, right? Get the whole thing. Get you some more favor. Get you some more DDO store points. <laughs> um, I'd be willing to help you run the flag flagging quests if you wanted to do the shroud with me afterwards. So, you can make your own uh, cool uh, green steel items, huh? <laughs> You're going to go do other things uh, while we flag him for Shroud, huh? <laughs> okay. So, let's... Um, well, once we've done the raid, if anyone wants to stick around... We could run, uh, if we have a whole party, flagging him for Shroud shouldn't take too long. Maybe an hour, hour and a half. Depends on how long it takes to do Coalescence Chamber. That's the, that's the hardest quest uh, to try to rush through. Um, so, um, well... It's not an item as such. Um, you, in, you order to cleanse the taint of Shavrath off of your green steel items, you need an essence of cleansing. In order to get one, you have to run Shroud 20 times, and it comes as an end reward on the 20th completion, 
or there's like a one in a thousand chance you could get one in a re on a regular completion, but I have never ever seen it come up <laughs> on the regular completion. <laughs> Uh, I've done 10 completions so far this life. And if I TR, I have to start all over again. So I'm gonna, I want to get another 10 completions before I TR uh, in order to get that cleansing item. That way, I, I think I'll cleanse the taint of Shavarath off the raised dead item so that I can then wear my re regeneration item at the same time. <laughs> All right, it starts to start to look like we might have a decent uh, raid group. Does everyone feel confident that uh, we could handle it? Nuka can solo it. Wow. Okay, so. Once everyone is here, uh, he says you can solo this. So that I gotta see. We should all just stand back and go get him, Nuka. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't make him do that, would we? <laughs> Anyone who says they can solo something, maybe I'll just stand back and let him do it. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> Okay, is everyone here? Super weak, you say? <laughs> So, well, we got seven. Oh, you missed a quest? Ugh. All right, um, do, can we handle it with this six? Probably. Shall we, shall we dance? You can't dance. Everybody can dance. You just, uh, you just, uh, move your hips and swing your, uh, swing your hobbit booty and, uh, <laughs> okay. Enter the Fall of Truth on Elite. Ooh, that, that splash page looks like a Draco Lich to me. Are we are we fighting a Draco Lich here? <laughs>
that even a giant can't face alone. Through night, we lure, trap, and slay the truthful one. So he cannot do to the little people what he did to mine. Come, first we destroy this doomsday machine for good. Oh, I wasn't able to target him, so I didn't think he was he was shootable. Okay, looks like Confused is prepped. The, the giant, anyway. Uh, I assume there's a giant a dragon of confusion that we need to prep as well. This is not looking good. Uh. Okay, who, uh, Tasman, let me res you up. Did it not work? Oh, uh, well, that was my once per rest. Um, hopefully the...
I am surprised Sacred Heart is able to hold all this aggro. Uh, <laughs> Would have thought I'd be dead by now, for sure. Um... Unfortunately, I used up my once a day, once per rest, uh, raise dead item, so I can't use it again. Oh, is there a shrine near here or something? <laughs> I didn't see any classes with lots of resin capabilities. Um, okay. <laughs> So, there's something up in the air that I should be shooting by now. The, uh, we called it the eye in the sky. It, uh, well, we did get one pair of the dragons and giants down, didn't we? I don't see the confusion guy anymore. Oh, so we have to get another pair of uh, the dragons down. Uh, which one are we going to preparing for here? The liar? Is there a lying dragon? Uh, okay, there's the dra lying dragon. I'm shooting the lying giant. Uh, he's not prepped yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, ouch! That hurt. <laughs> Oh, the pain. Somebody better kill the lying dra giant quick. Nope. The lying dragon got back up again. Ugh. It was close, though. And now the lying giant's back up.
Okay, be careful. Bjorn the Liars. Low. Well, unfortunately, I'm dead, so I can't shoot at it, but I would if I could. Okay, shooting at it. Um, uh, hopefully, you guys can keep the enemies away from me <laughs> while I'm shooting. Prism's down to one third of its health. Okay, Prism's about to go down. So is your time. 
Uh oh. It's you and me, Nuka. I hope you can hold the aggro. Because I know that thing would kill me in one shot. Uh, truthful one is at one quarter health. So. Just res. Just res them. I'll play with them. <laughs> um, res. How do I res? Uh, <laughs> hang on. Um, I have one scroll. Um, okay, um, well, I used my one scroll of Ray's Dead on Sacred Heart, and it didn't work, evidently. Either, either he, uh, didn't accept, or he was immediately re-killed or something. What does R for, uh, RFR mean, anyway? Uh, a request for a res? Ready for res? Oh, okay. I don't even know how to see the timer. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so. Well, at least Nuka's got all the dragons following him. <laughs> um. Well, I knocked the Truthful down quite a ways. So you just need to prep the Storm Reaver. Um. My soul stone is awfully close to the uh, truthful one, though. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if even uh, rezzing me no would. Leg. I'm good. I don't know if rezzing me would do any good. Uh, I'd probably die immediately because I. <laughs> it's right in the middle of all the dragons. I need people to start damaging the giant, please. Did you mean say stop damaging the giant or start damaging the giant? Uh, where on the interface would I see the resurrection timer? I'm pretty sure I can be rezzed, but... Don't kill the giant. Don't kill the giant. Don't kill him yet. Yeah, you need to get, uh, you need to get the dragon down a little bit more. Don't kill the giant. Where's the dragon? Oh, she, he's up in the air. I see. Um, Two drones is ready to kill. And now kill the giant. Yay! Can I get a res? <laughs> oh, there's a shrine. Okay. Now that there's a shrine...
Phew. <laughs> you, you, you kept them uh, running around long enough for people to get back on their feet. Good job there. Well, if anyone wants to help uh, uh, flag Taz for the shroud, uh, I can. I can. We can go do that. Uh, I guess uh, Mega, you wanted to go do other stuff while we do that, or because I can. Uh, I can run the flagging quests with Taz while we. Uh, Oh, all the loot took your stuff. Uh, you, you didn't want to do those flag quests again, huh? <laughs> Though it would get you another uh, set of pie slices and allow you to make a new uh, um, piece of green steel. Um, currently, you just have a weapon, right? You wanted a dagger or something? But, uh, okay. Let me finish out here. So, um, Taz, you know where to go to get into Meridia? Or have you already done the, uh, the, the two Meridia quest yet? All right, I will meet you there. And we'll see if we can't get you some, uh, some green steel flagging done. Alright, so if you want to turn it back into a regular party, because um, you can't go out into the uh, the Veil of Twilight as a raid group. And at the very least, the uh, the flagging quests are good for favor. Um, hey, uh, Mega, could you change the LFM uh, for and say a uh, flagging for shroud? That way, people will know uh, if they want to if they want to flag for shroud, they can join. I just need to sell and repair real quick. <clears throat> All right. There momentarily. I just need to tell the captain to send me to Meridia. <laughs> mm. 
There we go. Dum da da dum da 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 dum dum dum. And anyone who wants to run the uh, flagging quests, um, just uh, come along with us. Yeah, your first step, I think, is to talk to that guy, and um, and then. Uh, Yep, all five quests are necessary. Do you want to get that one out of the way first, since it's the most tedious and uh, <laughs> lots of ups and downs and stuff? Yeah, well, if it if it needs to be uh, if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Yeah, let's let's get the tedious one out of the way first, and then we could do the more the easier ones. <laughs> okay. All right, so head over to the coalescence chamber. Oh, you're going the long way, huh, Tass? <laughs> There's actually a little uh, spot in the uh, in the cliff there that we could just ride straight up. <laughs> okay, here we are, the coalescence chamber. Elite. <laughs> All right, so let's get the, uh, I don't think we need to worry about the loot, so um, we don't need to even fight the things here. We could just jump down the, uh, jump down the, uh, the pit, unless you really want that uh, bonus chest. It's up to you. Yeah, because we don't really need the uh, the bonus chest. I mean, it's it's level fifteen loot. I mean, or not. need to get myself some inscription materials for level one spells and I can add expeditious retreat to my spell list that will speed me up significantly apparently hobbits have very short legs and they don't run very fast <laughs> I always seem to be behind everybody else okay 
don't know if we want to bother trying to disarm the traps either. I mean, Level 22, even on Elite. <laughs> Since you're not flagged, I assumed you'd want to run it on Elite and get the most favor you can. <laughs> as long as you're stuck doing it, you might as well get the favor. <laughs> Why do I keep bouncing off that ledge? It's not a hard quest, per se. It's just tedious. It's like the pit in House Denise. It's, like, it's not a quest that people enjoy redoing. <laughs> well, compared to this, it's uh, the pit is actually a bit fun. Uh, this is just lots of climbing and jumping. Um... I don't know. This this one is a, is a strong uh, contender. Let's put it that way. <laughs> of all the quests, I don't really enjoy redoing. This is <laughs> this is pretty much at the top of the list, I think. Man, there's uh, some of these. Well, the spider one, just from the fact that you can have a, it has a failure condition. All the other ones don't have a a, a screw you, you failed condition. <laughs> It's like <laughs> yeah it's it's good for assassins or, or mages with uh, single target spells that just boom you're dead <laughs> yeah. but you, you know the barbarians you tend to be using those two-handed axes and just sweeping the area of all enemies near you. Yeah. I mean, if you do the the old solution, that stupid... That stupid stink is slowing me down. Troglodytes. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, if you... Uh, if you have a means of single-targeting the ogres... Yeah, and one-shotting them, that's, that it's, that it's fine. You can, you can manage to get through without killing any of the spiders, but, uh, we usually resort to the old solution of, uh, just slaughtering everything on the first, uh, section before picking up the journal. <laughs> it's like, Yeah, because you had a double strike effect, right? It's like, boom, assassinate. Oh, I killed a spider every time. <laughs> it's like...
Uh, speaking of flagging quests, uh, is it possible to have teammates in different quests at the same time? For example, if uh, Mega TJ went into tried to go into um, um, Sleeping Dust Lies and started it without us, could he get like up to the first journal and then wait for us? I don't. I, I've never tried that, but um, yeah, just just go up to almost finished wait for us to enter and then finish it and then we just run over and grab our pie slice and we're done. <laughs> so if you want to do that, uh, that'll give you something to do so you're not super bored while we uh, finish Coalescence Chamber. It'd be super nice to have a uh, Dust mostly done. But yeah, but uh, as long as he doesn't c actually finish it, you can just step inside and up, oh, your flagging is done. Just grab your pie slice and go. <laughs> At least with sleep Sleeping Dust, uh, it would be easy to get to the pie slice. If they, uh, if someone like nearly completed coalescence chamber even if and you walked in even if you didn't have to worry about um, you know unlocking all the doors and stuff uh, from the start of the quest you would still need to climb up the first shaft in order to get to the uh, to the pie slice and you really want the pie slices because that's the whole point of running shroud is to make green steel <laughs> You want to be able to make a blank. Hey, Snow Wind, we're, we're flagging for Shroud, and then we plan to run Shroud afterwards. We decided to do Coalescence Chamber first, since it's the most tedious and annoying. Uh, we are about a quarter of the way through Coalescence Chamber. We just went past the shrine on our way to the upper... Um, Oh, well, if you want to run the flagging quests, we can, like I said, we, we just, uh, we're in Coalescence Chamber, and we, that was, we did that one first. Um, technically, we could be halfway. Oh, you did, uh, you already flagged. Okay, cool. Um, you could get another set of pie slices if you come with us. <laughs> you... But I know coalescence chamber once once in a day is uh, is is plenty for just about anybody, right? <laughs> I don't want to go through there again. I can't do it. Well, in my case, uh, doing Shroud Raids is getting ready to reincarnate. Because I need to run uh, ten more Shrouds to get a cleansing item.
Yeah, the initial bonus tomes don't uh, do not stack. Uh, and then, then you have to get upgrade tomes from whatever you uh, boosted it to. You can get a plus three uh, tome for... Oh, great, I fell down. I can't believe I did that. Uh, yeah, I have to use the gas jets to get back up. That depends on whether you want to um, find uh, upgrade tomes for all the bus pluses in between plus <laughs> plus two and everything else. Um, <coughs> so what are those favor rewards that are like mailed to your mailbox or something? I don't think I've ever gotten those. NPC? Which which NPC? Uh, uh, the acid got me. Um, got a res? Tasman? Have you got a res uh, item? Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to take me back to the shrine. <laughs> I got pinned down in a bunch of AOE acid attacks. <laughs> Our level is really hard to die in this one. Uh, <laughs> oh, they interrupted your res. That's why I usually try to kill the casters as I go, so they can't do that to you. <laughs> it's like, acid, web, acid, web. As I was saying, you can get a selection of plus three tomes uh, for doing the Giant Holt uh, storyline quest on uh, Elite all the way through yeah, on uh, Epic. If you do it on Heroic, you get plus, yeah, skills. So, not that skill tomes are bad, it's just uh, not the same as a stat bonus. <laughs> Oh, I guess it is for that one skill, right? Um, no. No, killing that knoll only gets you a key. This is the first key of three keys. Okay, so this key is, um, the door that this key is for is down near the bottom of the first shaft. So... Once we kill the NPCs that have spawned at the doorway here, and there will be some, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, kill these guys before we jump down. They'll just be incredibly annoying later otherwise. Oh, 
Okay, have we cleared them? They're all gone. Oh, there's uh, there's some more down the shaft. Anyway, the the door that key is for is pretty much all the way down at the bottom of this first shaft. We should kill these guys as we go down, though. Again, just because they're annoying and you don't want to have to deal with them on the way up. <laughs> okay, you see that uh, bottom crystal? The last um, um, steam crystal? <clears throat> the door is on that level. It's right over here. Where Sacred Heart is standing. Hello. We've got the key for the door. Now, the key we get in here goes in the secondary shaft. <coughs> Once you start getting the keys, you're pretty much close to the end. Um, okay. Now, this key... We'll open a door. So, what we need to do is get to the top of the bottom part of the first shaft. Now, use the gas jets. If you if you see the rune, you've gone too far. You have to drop down one level after level one, one level from where the rune is that activates the gas jets, and you have to go in there because um, it's in the shaft that leads to the shrine. And you take a couple of jets to get us up that high, but... <clears throat> okay. Sounds like you're in coal chamber. Yes, we are in coal chamber. We are about... Now we're about uh, two-thirds of the way done. We've got the, uh, the the second key. We're on our way to the uh, gelatinous yes, Mr. QB. Isn't QB fun? Yeah, we're we're starting. Uh, we're we're doing flagging. Uh, Taz is not flagged. We're doing coalescence chamber first because it is the most tedious. <laughs> so if you want to get uh, you're gonna flag somebody because if you are, I've got another uh, like a twenty fifth level. Oh, well, uh, if you want to switch to him really quick, um, yeah. we're, uh, we're not quite done with uh, the quest. You have to do all five. Right, so uh, get, uh, stay and let me get into Cold Chamber so I can at least get a completion. I've already got the IP yeah. from a previous life. Oh, okay. Well, um, don't worry. Uh, well, uh, you should have right time back. to switch and uh, rejoin and uh, enter the Cold Chamber. Probably have to put an LFM back up because it'll get knocked out when I. Yeah, so uh, re re up the uh, the LFM. Actually, he should. Uh, I don't. It'll take him a moment to switch characters, but because um, if you put it up and someone else immediately joins. All right. Because um, when we when we're ready to do the shroud, we'll turn it into a raid group. And, uh, oh, we went in the wrong tunnel. Okay, <laughs> that was the, uh, that was the shrine tunnel. Uh, we need to go one level down, uh, in order to get into the, I, I thought that was the right tunnel, but I guess I didn't drop far enough down. Oops. <laughs> it's one of the reasons it's so tedious. If you make a mistake... You have to double back. I lied to you. This tune's already flagged, so it'll work. Oh, all right, very good. Uh, well, if you, <laughs> if you, if uh, um, on this life, if you haven't done the favor quest, well, um, actually, you probably have if you're flagged, right? You will have yeah, done it. I've done them all already. You will have done them on elite because 
You know, anyone who's flagging these days does them on Elite. <laughs> so at least you're... Uh, So that's six people. Um, all right, so we need to drop down to the next, basically the next door. Um, there we go. All right, we go in this way. Whoops, no, not this way. <laughs> Some of those corners mess you up. They gotta. It looks like it goes one way, and it actually goes. Uh, you have to go around a big stone thing to go to get to it. Okay. Do 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 do. Feels like that. Uh, old movie it's a mad 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 world <laughs> it's under this under this big w you'll see it a big w <laughs> all okay so halfway up this shaft there's a locked door that that second key will open. And behind that, be very careful, because there is a gelatinous cube which can paralyze you and kill you, even if you're over level 20. <laughs> if you fail your paralysis save, you are, as they say, in the manure. All right. Um, that's going to it's now going to spawn an ambush out in the uh, uh, once we pick up the key. So we don't want to be in the shaft when that happens. <laughs> okay. Now that key opens the final door. But we do need to uh, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of enemies here. We need to kill all of them. There's a counter because if you fail to kill them, the final fight won't start. <laughs> okay, we got all the ambush. Okay, up the shaft we go. Up your shaft. <laughs> and then we, when we get back to the main shaft, we just climb to the tippy tippy top. Open the door, and voila! She is completed.
And if you ever needed to work on your 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 monster manual bat achievements, <laughs> this would be the place to go for total number of bats killed in the least amount of time. This dungeon will do it for you. <laughs> Time for a running against the wall break. We can all do that, right? We just run against the wall. <laughs> oh, that would be Tasman. He he apparently is taking a bio break or something right now, but um, and I believe he has the key too. So. I think that was R H H. He thought that his uh, he thought his character needed flagging, but in fact, it is flagged already. So. So uh, we're gonna do. Uh, um, I guess after this one, the next the closest one would be running with the devils. Or, uh, that was the first one, and you guys still got to flag all of them? Yep, yeah, but this is the hardest and longest one, so... If we could have somebody uh, start... Yeah, but I mean, we're still talking. That's an hour from now. Well, we could speed it up by having somebody go into the next one and starting it uh, for us, getting it mostly completed, and then we just come in and uh, finish it. You want to you wanna help out with that, or...? I'll take care of which one are you heading to. Um, the next longest one is Ritual Sacrifice, if you want to start uh, working your way through the uh, the Knoll Village. You guys speed through Ritual Sacrifice because there's multiple ones of you, and I'll head into Running with the Devils. You'll head into Running with the Devils? Okay. All right. That's right. Uh, I'll take care of that one. Okay. Get ready for you. Get it ready? Excellent, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed. I missed. <laughs> Fall all the way down the stupid shaft. <clears throat> Coalescence chamber. Uh, you miss one little jump. And you're halfway down the dang shaft. Yeah, but you got jets. Well, yeah, I wish... I... There are some jets that are deactivated, and I don't know how to activate them ever. Um, there's at least two additional jets that are higher than the other jets, but, but never turn on. If there's a way to turn them on, I never figured it out. As far as I knew, the one room turns every jet on. Nope. There's at least two jets that remain red and do not activate. You probably don't need them if you do the, the only one that's the tallest shaft has got two jets in it where you can go halfway up and then hit the second jet. So, there may be other ones higher and lower than that, but you don't need them. Well, there are other ones higher. Um, oops, I went into the wrong doorway. I guess I don't check. Yeah, I think everybody who wanted to be in is in. If you want to finish off the... Uh... Oh, you want to start one, Mega TJ? Um, you want to start um, Dust? The underwater one on the other side of Meridia? Just uh, if you could, like, not, you know, just 
try to get through the first part without killing any spiders. Maybe grab the first journal then and uh, get the key. That way we can start with the upper uh, thing. But if he and he's prepping rep running with the devils, and we'll head to ritual sacrifice and do that one as a group. All right. So we'll head over to Ritual Sacrifice while you guys are prepping, running with the devils, and uh, uh, let Sleeping Dust lie, and uh, we'll see if we can do this in record time, huh? All right. Ritual Sacrifice. Because if you have multiple people... On, on, you can split up when it gets to the killing the mystics part. Half of you go one way, half of you go the other. <laughs> and that certainly uh, accelerates the uh, completion. Okay, in on Elite. Wasn't that the guy who was going to help uh, run the quests? Oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> can you put the LFM up again? Maybe we can get another person. Just uh, put a note there saying that we're running the flagging quests. Running some flagging quests. Because we've already done Coalescence Chamber, and we're not going through that again, are we? <laughs> somewhere around here. Oh, you already got this one. Okay. There's one on the other side.
run. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty then. <sighs> well, I just bought a um, a scroll of Expeditious Retreat. I just need to get the uh, inscription materials to copy it into my wizard spell list. I have one level of wizard. That's all I need to do, and then I can just cast Expeditious Retreat. I mean, I really don't use my mana for much else, uh, other than conjuring crossbow bolts. <laughs> so anybody, if anybody who's not uh, running quests right now... Um, to ready them for our uh, flagging, wants to grab a, a level one uh, inscription ingredient that you could trade to me <coughs> in Meridia. That would, uh, would expedite things significantly. <laughs> barely poked his nose into the room and he died. It's like, ah. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Since this character is so slow, when we get to the place where the path splits up... Oh, it didn't open? There we go. Yeah, since I'm so slow, I should probably head for the uh, the side where the uh, the gateway is. It's like I have like rich. Uh, which which dungeon was that? What's that? Oh, running with the devils. You're almost up to the end? Okay. Excellent. 
Excellent, sir. <clears throat> we are uh, approaching, we're at the upper level of the uh, ritual sacrifice. So all we would need to do is uh, run through and grab our pie slices once we uh, once we get in, huh? Unle well, yeah, you probably don't want to start the final fight unless you're confident you can <coughs> end it. <coughs> but yeah, don't and definitely wouldn't want to do that before we get in anyway. So. Okay, I'll work on clearing this side if somebody wants to circle back and do the other side. That way, I'll, at least I'll be near the uh, portal when we get the last uh, mystic. Here we go. Now we just got to keep Petus alive, which should not be too hard since we're way over leveled for this. <laughs>
right, let's grab the pie slice, and we're off to running with the devils. Running with the devil. Finishing. What was that? How close are you to finishing? We're on our way to uh, running with the devils. Uh, since uh, we had somebody prep it for us, we should be able to just go in the door, That's me. run through the place, and get the uh, get the pie slice. Okay, cool, cool. See somebody's blue dot in here. We are, I think we are all three inside. Uh, if you want to uh, initiate the final fight, if you think you can handle it, and we can just run through and grab the uh, pie slice. I mean, there could be some pretty badass clerics, depending on how you're specced. I mean, <laughs> plus, we're overleveled for it, so you should be able to handle it. <clears throat> and when you get done um, eating your dinner, maybe you can grab me a... Uh, an inscription uh, item uh, for f level one arcane spells. Level one inscription ingredient. Um, after you're done, right, after you're done eating, you after you're done eating, uh, you don't need to rush it. But because uh, <laughs> I am so slow, I I had been meaning to get um, expeditious retreat um, inscribed into my wizard spell book. I have one level of wizard. That's enough to cast Expeditious Retreat. <laughs> I just never found a, a, uh, a speed item uh, for this character. Excellent. So we just need to uh, snatch the, uh, the pie slice and we'll head over to... Uh, um, sleeping dust. Uh, how are you doing on that one, Mega TJ? Have you have you got through uh, the first part without killing any spiders? <laughs> one died, but you have the key. I would have done it all the way up to the last, is that the last key you have? Or the first key? Okay, um, so... Because you could do the quest all the way up to the third key. Or at the, um, or you could, yeah, well, yeah you could go up to the, uh, all you don't do is uh, don't go in the last room. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, if, uh, if you have the first key, you can go up to the second floor and just be very careful not to kill any, uh, any spiders as you kill the uh, ogres. Oh, duh. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't realize that was the final room. That was pretty quick. Okay, over to uh, Sleeping Dust. Well, as long as we're careful on the final fight, even if there even if there's one spider uh, killed, we just need to be very careful not to kill more than three of the spiders. <laughs> um, depending on how many spiders get killed before that point, because there are four spiders in the final fight, you fail if you kill five or more. It's loading, it's loading, it's taking forever. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. Uh, the Veil of Twilight. Okay. What are you, are you not good at that one? Well, it's better than Rainbow in the Dark, that's for sure. <laughs> Ah! Jerk! Knocked me off my horse. Yeah, Rainbow or the Dark is a problem because the, of the darkness. <laughs> There's only one light wand. If you go through all, all the way through that, then you'd have to double back to the entrance so people can avoid pits and stuff on the way in. <laughs> you can also do that one with a rune arm. Uh, depends on which rune arm you've got. Mine is acid, so it doesn't do the... Uh, you need, like, the explosive fireball rune arm. Trinati's hand cannon. Okay, so... As long as one spider survives the final fight, we should be good. Okay, I opened the gate so you don't have to jump down. Just watch the spikes. Sure, we're high level, but on Elite, the spikes can actually hurt you. <laughs> okay, have a good dinner. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's like... I'm uh, I'm only level 22, but all right.
Okay, you ready? Shield going down in three, two, one. That's, uh, oh, thank you for the dimension door, sir. So, off to Rainbow in the Dark, and that should do it. Like a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> I just thought it was, it was fun that they named all of the uh, dungeons after groups or songs. <laughs> I mean, come on, Rainbow in the Dark, you, you, I, you, I guess you'd never heard that song? <laughs> Running with the Devils. And uh, Coal Chamber was a band. Um, I mean, they extended it to Coalescence Chamber, but it's... <laughs> and Ritual Sacrifice, I think that was an... Was that uh, Ozzy Osbourne song? I don't When there's lightning, you know it always brings me down. Cause it's free, you can see it's me who's lost and never found. Okay, who want who who wants I guess I could play light bearer, but I'm so slow that I'll be behind everybody else. <laughs> you want me to hold the uh hold the scepter or no? I could do it. I just won't be able to use my crossbow. Well I know the way, so I will uh let me pull that out of my inventory. Just means that I'll have to melee with the stick. <laughs> I won't have a high DPS, but at least I'll. Okay. Now, in this tunnel down here, there may or may not be. Rust monsters. Looks like all so far it's all uh, earth elementals. Yeah, it's all earth elementals. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the the end. We climb up here. Light these jumps for you. Uh, there should be a journal next to the door here. You, know, you already opened it. Okay, excellent. Uh, there could be could be a pit here. Careful. Nope, no pit. Okay. Um, is there's a button here? Don't step on it right away. The button is a teleport 
or a fire elemental trap, which we, yeah, okay. I guess we're fighting the fire elementals. <laughs> Okay, we're going to ignore the clock puzzle tunnel just because it's a little tedious. <laughs> you only really need to do that one if you want to pick up a few extra gems anyway. The odds of getting the chests are bad. Oh, gelatinous cube. Okay. Okay. Whoop! Pit, 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 pit. Watch out. <laughs> I fell right in it. Uh, where's the ladder? Really, I thought the ladder was over here. Huh. Um, there is a ladder. There, there. Here it is. Found the ladder. Sorry about that. Um... Okay, we'll have to remember this pit for the for the way back. Okay, whoops, teleport trap. Well, at least this room is fairly well lit, huh? And once they're dead, it should uh, teleport us back up. Oh, there's a... Okay. Isn't this fun? <laughs> okay. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Teleport trap immediately followed by a gelatinous cube. Isn't that fun? Whoa, another cube. All right. All right, the named Orthon here. There should be one named Orthon that will drop this force field over here to get the... Uh, where's the named mob? There he is. Okay, I've got the crest. Now we just retrace our steps. Careful of that one pit. Uh, we don't want to fall in, spend too much time doing the Three Stooges routine where we fall in the pit and climb out and fall back in the pit and climb out. Okay. There should be some devils here. Here we go. Hello, devils. Okay, here's the pit. I'm going to light the uh, pathway for you. Alright, we should have some animating uh, scorpion statues here. Can you tell I've done this a few times? <laughs> Gotta put the uh, all 
Okay, should be some uh, gelatinous cubes up ahead. Possibly another teleport trap. Um, there's a shrine if you need to use it. There's the gelatinous cube. There we go. Whoop, another one behind us. Let's see there. Uh, you don't need to make the green steel item. You just need to, to do the little quest to make the orb. Once you make the... Uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can do the raid without having made a blank. You'll just need to make a blank before you can make a green steel item. <laughs> it is not required to make a blank before running the raid. We are on the last of the five quests now, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Whoa! I found another pit. Or the pit found me. <laughs> I really ought to be more cautious. Okay. Lighting up the pathway. Okay. Yeah, all, all they need to do in order to run the raid is talk to the guy who gives the raid quest. Um, we don't need to do the optional... Uh, uh, I don't, yeah, it's, we're not getting experience for this anyway. <laughs> Might as well leave the poor beholder alone. Stop beating up on poor beholders. <laughs> okay. Now, there's another gelatinous cube that drops down during the jump across of this pit. This is a hopscotch pit. This one, uh, the first pillar you can walk to then you have to hippity hop over the over the thing. If you got enough of a oh, hold the quest completion, you say. We're in rainbow now. We're most of the way through. Um, I have the key for the final door. I'll wait to open it until you're in. It's just not a far run. Just uh, let us know when you are in. Actually, uh, they're we're, gonna have to run through it and get the pie piece if they need it. Yeah, yeah. If you, do you need the pie piece, uh, beet boot, beet root. You do not need pie. Okay. You you've got you've made the you just need. Well, if you've made the orb, then uh, you, you got to complete them. Even though you've got the pie, you've got to complete them all on every life to run this. Oh, he has a he has a piece of pie from a previous life. Okay, so you just need to step in before we complete, so that you can be flagged for the quest. Okay, um, you've done all the other quests except for this one, then. That's an op. This is an optional chest uh, hallway. I guess we can do it while we're waiting for. Uh... Hold up! Don't don't run ahead. There's traps. One of them is a floor collapse. Uh, oh, I guess we're not getting those chests. <laughs> yeah, you, you you need to disarm all the chests in this hallway if you're going to get the chest, or all the traps rather. Because, as you can see, there's uh, there's no way across once the floor collapses. Yeah, you're uh, 
Yeah, you're not going to make it across there. <laughs> Unless you're a, a monk with like a, some sort of rocket propelled boots or something. <laughs> well, let us know when you are in the quest beach route and we can uh, we will wait to finish it up until you are in. You're in? Okay, excellent. Uh, we are we are just now reaching the uh, the rainbow puzzle. Solve the secret of the rainbow. Well, I know the rainbow. So you did everything except uh, rainbow in the dark, huh? See, uh, orange. Red, orange, ye uh, yellow, green. Oh, you haven't done dust? Blue, indigo, violet. Okay, now we just fight the elemental and we're done. Um, man, well, uh, let's get the completion here. Well, um, we were going to run the uh, raid after uh, we got the completion here. We were going to run the raid. Um, yeah, I don't have any more time to waste. Yeah, let's uh, let's get in. Um, at least we got this one done for you. And uh, so once we've uh, exited out of the veil, we can turn it into a raid group and uh, put in the uh, LFM, uh, you know, ten minutes or something, because uh, uh, we're waiting for RHH to come back from his dinner. So. No, I'm already back. I've been talking. To oh, I'm awake. <laughs> Did you grab that? Um... I did not see which one's light up green. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I'm awake. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I totally look at look at things like that. Okay. Um, okay. Did you manage to get me a uh, um, inscription uh, thing? I, I, it's in your mail. Check your mail. Oh, check my mail. Excellent. Mail. You've got mail. Uh, spell inscription material. Right, thank you very much, sir. I just need to go in my inventory. Right click on the or click on the scroll of expeditious retreat, and then. Uh, Hmm. Hang on. Dang it. How do you... <laughs> uh. You got to turn all the quests in before you can talk to the girl here. All right. That's interesting. Um... I know I have a wizard spell book. Why won't it let me inscribe it? Check for the feet inscribed scroll. Oh, a feet in. There's a feet? Okay, hold on. Uh, what it is. I thought it was a. You just use the. Uh, the item itself. Okay, feats. 
should be under wizard class feats, right? I guess that's how they make sure you don't accidentally put it in the wrong uh, <laughs> uh, spell book, huh? Come on, where are the wizard class feats? Hmm. Do you not get an in, uh, inscribed scroll uh, as a level one wizard? Inscribe. Oh, there we go. Inscribe wizard scroll. Okay. Duh. Okay. Got that. Oh, wait, no, inscribe scroll feat is to make scrolls, isn't it? Uh. Have you never scribed a scroll before? Well, it's been a while since I played a wizard, uh, a couple of years. No, you use inscribe scroll. Click on the scroll, and then you, you drag in scribe scroll up to your taskbar. Yeah, yeah, you I did that. Select the, spell in your, the scroll in your inventory, and then you click on it on your taskbar. Okay, it looks like it finally worked. Okay. I just need to uh, put that in the slot that I was using. Um, uh, ice Blast. So I, I don't need Ice Blast. I need an uh, Expeditious Retreat. <laughs> because I am way too slow to not have some means of increasing my movement speed. Even with the Expeditious Retreat, I'm probably just as fast as <laughs> somebody with, without it who, uh, who has a, a speed item, but tis better than nothing. Well, thank you for your assistance doing that, sir. I'm... Okay. Are we going to fill or are we going to start? Just going to go? I thought we were okay. just going to go. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do it then. Time's up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> well, getting getting Tasman flagged is a good thing. It's not a necessarily a waste of time. Everybody in? Hey, no. Who are you missing? Taz is not in. Here he is. He's in. Excellent. As Quisana fades away. <laughs> Does everybody dance on the corpses of the uh, arcade game uh, gauntlet characters who obviously failed the shroud terribly since their corpses are all lying there at the entrance. 
They all look like they need food badly. They look a little thin. Okay, portal is up. <coughs> At least we got people who do enough damage that we're not going to have to worry about portal keepers. <laughs> Portals won't be up that long. We're missing one somewhere. Uh. Um, no. Uh, the only way to get blanks is to make them. Green uh, scale altar of fecundity. Yes, the uh, the altar that that uh, it shows you in the tutorial where you uh, talk to that lady at the uh, in Meridia. The altar of fecundity. Uh, you can do it either in uh, Meridia or if your guild ship has a green steel crafting room, uh, you should be able to do it there as well. It's a fairly involved process. I recommend using the green steel planner uh, online uh, at cubicleninja.com. Um,
Uh, be sure to take those uh, bosses to the entrance to prep them and kill them, because if you kill them there, they will instantly respawn, uh, <laughs> and will never get the crystal killed. Well, I was trying to get the aggro and run down here, but everybody stole it. Somebody stole the aggro? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, stop doing so much damage. <laughs> okay, I'm on crystal. As soon as the shield goes down, I will start blasting it. Come on, bring the red names down to us. Yeah, you need the, you need the red names uh, as far from the uh, crystal as you can get them, because... Where are you going up here? That's, that's not the normal stop place. This. That's too close to the uh, to the center. Bring them down here. Yeah, bring them bring them down to the uh, to the entrance where the big force field is, and then when you split them, draw them off uh, to the west and north. We want to you want to get the longest uh, run possible from where they die to the to the uh, center. Somebody's first time in here? I don't know. <laughs> well, first time in ten years, okay. You, I, you could be excused for uh, for forgetting uh, every little nuance. <laughs> like I said, as soon as the shield's down, I'll start blasting it. I'm ready to unload. If you got my... aggro, get out of there, Sacred Heart. We're trying to separate them now. Yeah, if you've got the aggro, you're, you you lead them off to the west, and they'll split up because of their speed. In any case, even if they're all aggroed on the same person, they will split up enough that the slow ones can be killed first. Yeah, if, you, if you've got the aggro firmly, just head off to the west and then head north. Get them to chase you, and they will split up enough to, to start killing the ones in the rear. Okay, now start leading them south again towards the entrance. Because if you go any further up that way, there's a shortcut they can take if they if if you kill them up there. So we, you need to split them up just enough. There we go. They're going down. Um. I have a feeling his ghost is going to reach the center before you've killed them all. Uh, because I haven't seen any more go down. If their ghosts get to the center, they res. Okay, um, we may have to wait. Um, yeah, somebody come to the center and get the uh, this one when he reses. Oh, yeah, he, Esser Hall, the knave, is back up. If someone can grab him. No, I'm coming. Uh, don't kill any more of them. Uh, yeah, so now you'll have to wait for the kobold. I didn't even shoot him. I don't know why he's mad at me. <laughs> Stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, you got his attention? Lead him back to the entrance. Okay, there's another ghost, I think. Yeah, another come get a, come get this kobold ghost. The kobold rest. They should all be dead now, I believe. Uh nope. Oh. The crystal she is still shielded. The kobold Yeah, the the kobold got here. 
Um, yeah, he's, go he's just going to insta-res since he's on the center. Um, okay, you're going to have to wait and lead them all up back to the entrance and, and try it again. Um, does anyone have anything that, uh, you know, could slow him down, like a ice storm or something? Lead him to the entrance. Problem is, on their second and subsequent deaths, they will it will not announce. Now they can die together? Okay, we'll lead them back to the center. I didn't know that. I thought I thought they always have to be separated. Okay. Somebody kills another one again. Crystal's down. Okay. <laughs> Good timing. The uh, the fire elemental was like two seconds from reaching the center. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> There is a way you can enter this portal that all the puzzles will be solved. I don't know what it is, but I've heard of it. Um, actually, I think it's random. I don't think it has to do with uh, um, um, and entering it in any particular way. Maybe it has to do with hitting the altar very quickly. I don't know. before the puzzles could set themselves or something. I don't know. Um, they are not solved, so I, I could solve the puzzles. Okay. I am solving a... You can't trigger pressure plates? Okay, so you can't do solving because of your... Uh, your neat feet. <laughs> that's a, that's annoying. It's like, wait a minute, I can't do this. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Okay, this is a five by five. Let me check the my my cheat sheet for the solution. Okay. Okay, puzzle solved. All right, is anybody, uh, is the uh, fountain open? Not yet? Ow. No, I'm breaking crystal right now. Give me a second. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, it's just, uh, I have, I don't have a whole bunch of hit points, so. You have to solve your puzzle. Yeah, solve the puzzle and you can get out. Uh, or just tell us where you are and I can come and unlock the door and uh, solve it for you. Yeah, I'm. I've seen the uh, the pre-solved puzzles come up like at least four or five times. So it's a lot. It's a lot more com. It's a lot more common than it used to be. Let me wait for the blades to go past again. Ow! Little jerk. Okay. Clearly, uh, I was not quick enough. You know. Anybody got a res? <laughs> yeah, I can when I get to you. That's okay, that's yeah, okay. Cleric. Just, uh... Looks like Mega TJ uh, ran afoul of some blades over here as well. <laughs> We're both dead. <laughs> Um, I, mm, I haven't seen the wall. No, I, I, he was right in front of me, and he, and he ran into some blades and died. Uh, <laughs> we are in the um, uh, southwest corner. Hello. 
I am dead. Are you dead? No. <laughs> I know. I know. I got it on a quick bar somewhere. I don't normally use it because I solo mostly. I have. Um, hey, uh, Mega TJ, walk into this uh, puzzle room so that he can res you without risking the blades. What? No, we don't no, need we to. Don't break any crystals. We don't need to break them. The only crystals we break are the ones to get into the fountain. Okay. Let me solve. Well, somebody broke one already, so no matter what, we're not going to get all the chests now. Oh man, that's not nice. Who broke it? I watched Taz do it. You broke it, the crystals, Taz. What you do that for? No, only the only the fountain crystals need to be broken. Well, he probably heard somebody saying they were breaking the crystals, and he and they were, you know, at the fountain breaking the crystals on the fountain, and assumed that we I needed to break. Earlier, who's not, who doesn't know how to do this? Oh well, apparently. <laughs> so. Uh, Uh oh. Well, looks like the. Uh, did he leave on purpose? I... <laughs> well, he's our only reser, so. Uh... Ah, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> there's your there's the lesson don't piss off mega tj oh okay uh which puzzle is that um you look like you're in the upper east who is us too i'm i'm not being dick I never a dick. I'm a very nice guy, in fact. Oh yeah, if you uh if you open the uh the thing it'll relock. Well, I could do the puzzles. I just need to wait until the blades go past again. Ow! Of course they snicked me. <laughs> I am very good at all the puzzles in this game. The main problem is... I don't have a lot of hit points, so... Oh, wonderful. Both are locked. Oh, the Wall of Death! Uh, we're all dead. Well, that's the end of this uh, run. We'll have to try again. Uh, keep the LFM up. And, uh, well, that was the wall of death. Uh, if you take too long solving the puzzles, it, it, this uh, rainbow wall starts going around the, uh, the hallways here and the puzzle rooms. And it just kills you. It's automatic death. And since we're all dead, uh, we're not going to be able to complete this, so let's exit out. Uh, might as well release out, uh, repair, and get your, uh, um, hit the, um, and get the uh, LFM up, looking for members, and we'll uh, see if we can't get a few more. <laughs> anyway.
I think mainly what happened there was uh, the cleric guy got up upset because he wasn't going to get the two bonus chests because somebody broke a crystal other than the ones leading to the fountain. Um, so he, he logged off and left us with uh, one person less. So let me uh, repair my stuff. So uh, uh, besides the cleric, Mega TJ, who was it you were saying was being jerks? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, <laughs> at least I don't think I am. Me? What was I being a jerk about? I didn't give the guy grief for the crystal. I, I was explaining, like, he probably heard somebody saying he was breaking a crystal and assumed that you could just break the crystals. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I really don't care about the bonus chests, actually. I'm just looking for completions. Tongue in cheek at the very least. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't being a jerk about it. I don't know. <laughs> A whole stick, half a stick, <laughs> something like that. But, uh, all right, let's get back to Meridia. Maybe we can catch a few more people in the LFM while we wait. Um, It's like, me a jerk? I'm never a jerk. <laughs> hey, I'm the I'm the most tolerant guy you'll probably ever meet in this game. I <laughs> I help people run quests all the time. I mean, uh you've seen how uh uh what's what's his name? Franz, you've seen how he is. <laughs> Well, the, um, okay, the, the puzzle solver, when you pull the puzzle solver up, you, you rep, rep, replicate what you see on the floor, and then you click solve, and it'll, the, the ones that are marked one are the places you need to step to solve it. Um, the way to simplify it, so you don't have to, like, look at the, the entire solution, is to mostly solve the puzzle except for one row and then replicate that and whatever tiles are marked as one on the opposite side of the puzzle from the row that isn't solved just step on those and then solve it the same way a row by row uh, from there going down to the bottom and and it will solve Yeah, you edit the, well, you can edit the thing, hit solve, and it'll show you what tiles you need to step on. But if you pre-solve it, you can then, all you have to do is step on the tiles in the top row, and then just solve it the same way you pre-solved it, row by row. Uh, as long as you only step on those two tiles on that, that top row from the perspective of where you, where you initially pre-solved it at, it'll, it's basically solved. Hey there, Beetroot. You finished dust? Cool. Excellent, sir. We uh we got to the uh the puzzle and uh, we ran out of time and the the wall came up while people some people were still locked in puzzles and uh, killed us all. So Sure she did. <laughs> Well, if she did, it was clearly time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, if anybody wants to uh, ask your uh, your various guilds, if anybody wants to run a shroud run, by all means, uh, do so. I die way too easily. <laughs> um and this is this is with my green steel that raises my hit points turned on. I only have 562 hit points. A few hits from those those uh, spinning blades kills me.
Yeah, he, 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 not only that, he, he didn't know where he had raised dead or resurrection on his skill bar. For a cleric, that is critically important. Yeah, there's two chests under the water that you can only reach if you solve the puzzles. Yeah, he, he claims his wife uh, unplugged his router. Sounds to me like it was it was time for him to go to bed. <laughs> but uh Well, there's always the possibility that um, they'll be pre-solved. Sometimes it... <laughs> well, I, I'm a little fragile. I can only take a couple of hits from the swords without going down. Um, I, I could unlock and I can solve puzzles really, really well. But... I, I could I can die really easy too. <laughs> yeah, I pulled up the solver. If you pulled up the solver, there there's like I said, there's an easy way to use the solver to solve it very, very quickly. You pre-solve the puzzle by row by row lighting up the the lights until you've got one row that isn't solved. Replicate that on the puzzle solver, click solve then from the row that you that you have unsolved lights on go to the opposite side of the puzzle and step on the ones it tells you to and then do the same thing go to the, to the second row down and just solve just light up the lights row by row by the time you get to the bottom it will be completely solved that way you don't have to memorize uh, every single tile you have to step on trust me it will work <laughs> Um, and if it's a four by four, you literally can't fail to solve it. Well, there's a lot of alt tabbing if you've got only one screen. <laughs> uh, um, but if it, you, you could figure out what tiles you need to step on on the top row and then just solve all the way down. So... I, well, I use one screen, too. Long ago, I printed up a sheet with all the basic solutions <laughs> for each puzzle. You know, you could pull it up on your phone, I'm sure. Uh, but, uh, okay, is everyone here? Are we ready to give this a try? Uh, let's see, we got... You'll be there in 30 seconds, okay. That's within the five minutes uh, <laughs> of the timer. We we'll just need to... Uh, Go in on Elite. Okay, everyone is here then. Let's uh let's do this. Quisana. Oh, well, that was interesting. 
it bounced me back out for some reason. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> um. Alrighty. We got plenty of DPS for the for the uh, uh, shields in the first uh, or the uh, the uh, the uh, portals in the first area. Deadly is fine. <laughs> when we get to the uh, pit fiend, if every anyone does not have a good aligned and silver weapon, if you have a good aligned weapon and you can have him put silver on it, and that will bypass the pit fiend's uh, damage reduction. Um, just saying. <laughs> okay, this first phase is easy. We just kill portals. Oh, you have a silver weapon and you need good? Okay. <laughs> well, that technically you don't need that until we get to the uh, Pit Fiend. He's the one with the super DR. <laughs> Well, at our level, sure. <laughs> All right. Green Elf needs food badly. Okay, gateways up. <laughs> I don't even need to go over there, just shoot it. <laughs> Uh, not that energy does anything to it. It would have been nice if at some point in this game's history they had fixed that uh, quest for picking up gateway shards. They still drop. There's, nobody could pick them up. <laughs> If anyone, um, I'm pretty sure everyone here knows the next phase, right? Where you have to separate the bosses and 
and so, so we have one guy blast the crystal. I, I volunteer to blast the crystal. Um, since I'm the most fragile person here with a, with a decent DBS anyway, that's best job for me anyway. So we just uh, lead the bosses to the to the entrance, lower their hit points, lead, you know, drag them apart, then kill them, and I will blast the crystal to kingdom come. Okay, you guys got the aggro. I'll get on the crystal. Um, lead them back to the entrance, and I will be ready to blow up the crystal as soon as you guys uh, prep and destroy the lieutenants. Just uh, be sure not to start killing them until everyone says that all they're they're all prepped. Okay, better kill them all now. Okay. The uh, crystal is destroyed. We can go to the chests. Now, the next one is the uh, puzzles. I am not sure what triggers the all solved thing on the puzzles. It might be based on how quickly you click the altar or something. I don't, I don't know. We, if we're lucky, they'll all be solved, and no one will have to worry about pulling up puzzle solvers. They are not solved, so I will solve the one in my that I am in. Do, 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 do. Okay. If you absolutely can't solve any puzzles, uh, let us know, and we will try to uh, get to you as quickly as we can. And there are some of these puzzles that uh, if, here's, if it's a 4x4, four four, solving it line by line will auto-solve it. I mean, there is no way to not solve it if it's a 4x4. Four four. Oh, we just jump on this corner and it's done. Okay. Whoops. We both jumped on it at the same time. There we go. <laughs> Ah, I need speed. All right, um, hang on. Oh, that's a four by four. If I can get in there, it's it's already basically already solved. Um, so I just need to wait for the blades to go past one more time. Okay, get over here. Solve, lo unlock it. And I can show you what I mean by solving it line by line. You just <laughs> solved. <laughs> I 
Um, standing right in the middle of the hallway is... <laughs> that's a good way to die. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are they all solved? Are there any that are not solved? From the, from the lack of response, I'm guessing they are all solved. Oh, and the fact that there's no force field over the chests. Yeah, they're solved. Okay. <laughs> so we just need to run water now. I should avoid running water myself because I am fragile. Well, I guess I can get the ones that are close. Yeah, don't, don't stand in the hallway like that, Sacred Heart. That's a good way to get eaten by the swords. <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt you? Well, I, it hurts me. Two hits and I'm dead, basically. <clears throat> I, am, I am a fragile little flower. <laughs> As befits a halfling. Right? <laughs> Okay, let me uh, speed boost and try to stay behind the swords. What the? What the heck? Do those yellow runes on the floor counterspell your uh, your expeditious retreat? Suddenly, I'm, yeah, yeah, they do. Okay. I just now got that stupid thing, and I needed to get. Okay, the uh, the northern uh, five by five needs one more water. It's like a jerk. Spelling my expeditious retreat. Okay, follow the blades very carefully. Well, that hurt. <laughs> oh, okay, excellent. So we got the two bonus chests under the fountain. For solving all the puzzles. Blub, 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 blub. Me? Uh, I, hold on. I think I have a shard of power. I got that uh, from an earlier chest in this dungeon. Yes, I have a regular shard of power. Um, I think I do need a grate. Oh, it's a grate. I could use a... Uh, yeah. Well, ingredients and completions. Um, I'm always up for making more... Uh, um, in the chest, you just tell it... Uh, uh, who you want it to be for. You click on the little arrow next to the item. Um, so one of the one of the chests in the uh, in the uh, fountain has a, a great shard for me. I like great shards. <laughs> <coughs> I like supreme shards even better because you need two of those for every piece of green steel. Oh, two shards of great power. Why thank you very much. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> Let me, uh... Let me destroy some stuff. Actually, there's also a merchant here that you could sell to. Probably should have done that before destroying anything. 
but I don't want to hold things up. The next, uh, yeah, the next um, fight is the one where you're going to want to have good, a weapon that is good, aligned, and um, silver. And that will allow you to deal full damage to the uh, uh, pit fiend. Um, there's uh, spinning swords. Um, they start at the edge of the uh, arena and move in. Uh, when someone says uh, "get out," if you, if this if the swords can damage you, that's time to jump out. They spiral slowly inward. Well, probably he'll probably be dead before they reach him, so it's probably not an issue. I mean, um, we've got some decent DPS here. Plus, if it if everyone has uh, uh, good and good silver weapons, uh, um, that should not be a problem. All right, so in we go. There's a couple of waves of uh, devils first, then the pit fiend will show up. So I'm going to be uh, sitting back and using my ranged attacks. I will warn you if the blades are getting close enough that it's time to get out before you get sliced to shreds. <laughs> but like I said, we got a decent party here. Our DPS should be more than sufficient to knock down the, uh, the pit fiend. Yeah, the blades aren't even going to make it around once. Uh, <laughs> looks like he's going to go down uh, pretty quick. And there you have it. Well, he had trouble finding his uh, his ray resurrection on his. I mean, anyone who is who is running a healing class and doesn't have resurrection on their hotbar, and well, yeah, Taz didn't know anything about the uh, um, the bonus chests, so don't worry, he knows now. <laughs> but. Uh, he started giving him a hard time, and I was like, well, you know, <laughs> maybe we should have explained it a little better. But, well, that's what he said. Yeah, I asked if anyone was new. Well, uh, he, and also, uh, when I when I said, uh, is the fountain open yet? He said, I'm breaking the crystals. Uh, you know, hang on a minute. Which, to Taz, I could understand him thinking, oh, we just break the crystals. Well, <laughs> I could uh, we could understand I could understand Taz making that decision, but he wanted to be a jerk. <laughs> I'm never a jerk, really. I mean, I yeah, we could. It's understandable, you know. And when I said, "Well, you," uh, when when I was asking about the fountain, you said you were breaking crystals. He probably meant thought that that meant we should break the crystals, but. <laughs> It's like it 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 wasn't uh, explained thoroughly. Okay, yeah, bop the boss. Um, and we used to we used to joke about this thing. Uh, what we would do is we'd tell newbies that if they hit the portal perfectly, it would it would do something special. But if they hit it wrong, everyone would die. Well, uh, when you hit the portal everybody just dies uh, because it's, that's part of the raid. <laughs> so we told him, no, oh, if you hit the portal exactly in the middle, otherwise everybody's going to die. 
Well, everybody dies because that's part of the raid. <laughs> Basically, we end up fighting the exact same boss, but a slightly toughened version. He takes longer to kill, but there's no uh, circling swords this time. And like the bosses on the previous one, you have to separate them to kill them. So... Once you get them down to low hit points, try to spread them out so that they'll die. <laughs> okay, now we're back on Harry the Harry the Pit Fiend. Well, we call him Harry. His name is Eratricos, but. Close enough, right? <coughs> if you're a Cockney, right? Harry, his name's Harry. And of course, when everyone, everyone uh, uh, dies coming in here, all the buffs go away. <laughs> so you have people who like spend a lot of time buffing before we go in, and then poof, all the buffs are gone. <laughs> so. Okay, and here is our reward. Four chests from which you can get... Uh, Hey, no problem, man. Uh, I try to run this a couple times a week at least because um, I want to get the cleansing item that you get for the 20th completion so that I could take the uh, Taint of Shavarath off of one of my green steel items. I have three items with Taint of Shavarath on them right now. <laughs> if you wear any two of them at the same time, uh, just uh, watch my hit points and you can see what happens. Uh, uh. Well, somebody put a bunch of bonus hit points on me, so it's not moving right now, but <laughs> it will in a moment. <laughs> Ow. Uh, there we go. It got into my real hit points. So, and that's what the Taint of Shavrath does. Um... You could get rid of the Taint of Shavrath with a cleansing item, but you have to run the quest 20 times in order to get one. I I think there's like a one in a thousand chance of getting an end reward, um, getting a, a Taint of uh, a Cleanser. It's called an Essence of Cleansing. The chance to get one is very, very low. So after... Uh, the raid had been running for a few months. They decided to say, change it a little bit so that on your 20th run, you're guaranteed to get one. You know, drop it, Chrono? Okay. All right, well, I guess I can uh, end my uh, stream here. i take a break. Ooh. An upgrade stat tome. Um, do I have? I already have plus three inherent, so I don't need the upgrade tome. But I could always use more chipmunk funk. <laughs> as long as the essence of cleansing was not available. All right, uh, you guys have a good evening, and I shall see you later. You want me to put you on my friends list, Taz? I could do that. 
I run, uh, I stream every, every other day or so. Um, it all depends on, uh, you know, what I'm, how I'm feeling at any particular night, but, uh, maybe next time I have my, uh, uh, shroud timer, uh, ready to go. Yeah, on Twitch. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. Uh, uh, Redwood Elf, I believe, is my uh, Twitch name. If you just search for Redwood and, and uh, uh, DDO, you should be able to find me. There we go. You're on my friends list. Um, is this the character you're usually on, or should I add an, uh, an alt? Ah, I just got a new Twitch follower called Lewd Food. Hello, Lewd Food. <laughs> nice to meet you. Or at least have you follow me around. <laughs> Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, you've, uh, you're following me. You will follow me. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, so you'll be able to tell when I'm on, even if you're not on that character, and you can just send me a tell from whatever character if you want to run a shroud, you want to get another person flagged for shroud. <laughs> um, and, uh, again, uh, it's, um, if you, um, let me uh, let me paste the uh, the URL for the Green Steel Planner um, into the chat so you can see that. Uh, I will paste it into the uh, DDO chat for you, and I I think I could post it in the uh, the stream chat as well for anyone watching on the stream. So this is the uh, this is the Green Steel Planner. You go to that URL. Um, and you can you could put in the kind of item you want to make like is it a pair of gloves is it a helmet is it a weapon and then you you pick the effects you want I usually go from the highest effects down because the lower effects will limit what kind of higher level effects you could put in there so um, uh, be sure to check that out if you want to make yeah uh, and so it, it's very important when you when you get it all in there, when you get all the effects you want, click craft and it will give you a, a detailed list of all the ingredients you need and the steps you need to take to make that item. And you need to do them in the order that it gives you. So you have to put the lower level effects in first, then the middle level effects so that you can unlock where the higher level effects to go in there. So. And you, you can make some really nice items that are usable at level 11 for non-weapons and level 12 for weapons uh, on, on your uh, true reincarnations. So, all right, uh, let, me tape, let me paste that in the uh, Twitch chat so that the Twitch people can, uh, anyone who like watches the replay should be able to see my Twitch chats, right? There you go, cubicleninja.com. Uh, and uh, that way, anyone who wants to craft green steel could figure out how to do it. All right, well, I will see you guys later. I'm going to exit the party and end my stream, and uh, we shall see you later. I might run another shroud with somebody else uh, here. I have a right raid bypass timer, you see. It looks like another group might be getting together here. I see people standing in front of the door, so <laughs> I will... Uh, Maybe I'll leave the stream running for a minute. I'm just going to leave the party and I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Okay, let me uh, sit for the people on my stream. Um, let me do a local... Uh,
I guess they're uh, <clears throat> hey there you guys have a voice chat or do I need to type <clears throat> okay X excellent excellent so um, how are we looking here we got some uh, we got a 17 a 16 a 17 a 17 and I'm a 22 but at least I can solve the puzzles right <laughs> um, so um, do we Oh, you're double boxing? <laughs> yeah. He's a double boxer. That's like that's like uh, Rocky with an extra pair of arms. And just make sure you can get him through the first portal, right? <laughs> and they just you just yeah. probably just park him there once we uh, solve it, and then he you can run him through and grab all the chests at the end. Okay, so basically we have four. Probably best if we get a few more. Is it a raid group yet? No. Yeah, you'll probably want to. I can talk now. You probably want to set it to raid group yeah. then, and we can. Uh, uh, if anyone wants to talk, oh, you're all in the same guild. Oh, okay, it's a guild raid. So, any guild. Well, in in my case, I just need completions. <laughs> I need to get my twenty so I could get my cleansing item. So in, in my case, doesn't matter to me if we don't get four chests at the end. <laughs> I've already I've already done my elite run. <laughs> Not gonna Well they are ver they are quite they are quite excellent at level twelve. Once you get to level 20, you start to get better stuff. But <laughs> at level 12, on your true reincarnations, they can really help you raffle stomp the uh, Sands of Manectrin, right? <laughs> so, uh, next time, I'll just be well, and if you run enough to, <coughs> to cleanse uh, off of some items, you can make a a couple of uh, equipment items, you know, for, for slots that where you usually don't find anything really good, like maybe boots and gloves. <laughs> Actually, you can make rings now, can't you? I've, I haven't looked into the rings. Uh, well, it's 20, you get you need 20 runs, which if you start doing runs and you do it like, you know, every time your timer's up, you run another one. By the time you have enough tokens to true reincarnate, you should be close to 20 runs. You just type, uh, I'll put it in quotes, uh, you just type um, quests completion. You just type that and look on your uh, general tab. And that, it gives you a list of every quest in the game, basically. You scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, and you should see the 13th Eclipse. Well, actually, it, I guess it doesn't have an S on it. Sorry. <laughs> completions with an S. Okay, yeah, quest completions with an S on the completions, but not on the quest. Scroll all the way to the bottom. The 13th Eclipse is about, uh, what, about 10 uh, quests up from the bottom. That's the shroud. So you can see how many more you need to do to get your 20. That way you can sort of plan it out and say, okay, I'm, 
I'm, I'm on the 19. I'm doing my 19th shroud now. I can, I, I, all I have to do is uh, wait three days. I can do my, uh, my 20th, get the cleanser, and uh, and there's just a, that then you know plan out your TR. You'd be ready to TR at, as soon as you cleanse the taint off of the item, because I have three items on me right now with taint. And 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 three green steel items without. <laughs> I see. I this character. I've I've run this character since like, the game first came out. And over the course of hiatuses, though, so every once in a while I have to, uh, relearn some of this stuff. But, <laughs> um, I do have a lot of green steel. I do have a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a question of uh, yeah, because if it, what, what, you could see what you could see it when I put on uh, when I put on all of my tainted items at the same time, uh, you could just see my health going down, like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So that's why I need uh, to get the essence of cleansing. I think there's like a one in a thousand chance of getting one on a regular completion. I've never seen one, but <laughs> come in, come up other than on the twentieth run. I, I believe you take your item to the altar of fecundity in here. I could check. All I have to do is put the item in there. Uh, and it, and if the uh, essence of cleans cleansing thing comes up on the list, it should be uh, fairly obvious that that's how it works. So I just take my tainted item and I put it. I accidentally uh, dragged it to a toolbar instead of my inventory. Okay, take the tainted item, unlock it. I think you have to unlock it to do anything. And I pull up the altar of fecundity and I. Okay, it doesn't fit in this altar, so I think you need to do it um, on whatever level altar the item is for. Or we're waiting for a few more, right? We got a few minutes, right? So I can. Uh, why don't I head over to my guild ship and I will double check. I'll figure out um, twelve. I'm thinking it's going to need to be the um, the Altar of Devastation, which is like the last phase of the Shroud or uh, a Guild Ship uh, Altar. Um, so, cause we got a little bit of time before we're going in. Ah! Should have put on my uh, Featherfall item before jumping off the cliff, huh? <laughs> It's like, ah! <laughs> well, fortunately, I landed on something before I, you know, fell far enough to take damage, but... <clears throat> I wonder if Feather Falling is available. Oh, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, never, ever forgot to put on your Feather Falling item. <laughs> um... Well, I, what, I, what I'm wondering now is, uh, can you put feather falling on a piece of green steel? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll. Okay, cleanse uh, altar of devastation. If the item is fully upgraded, cleansing the taint of Shavarath comes up. You need your tainted green steel equipment, and essence of cleansing. And a Shavarath high energy cell here. I think pretty. I'm pretty sure that you could cleanse the taint off of um, an item as a blank. And if you can do it, you could probably do it at the altar of fecundity. Um, but I haven't tested that. Yes, yes. Once you cleanse one, 
Yeah, you can only wear one item with the taint of Shavarath at a time. If you remove the taint, then that item no longer counts towards the taints of Shavarath. That's the whole point of the cleansing items. <laughs> so, I guess they, they, they made it work that way so that people couldn't just make a full set of green steel gear every single slot, green steel with all those bonus effects on it, right away. They'd have to take, they could make it, but they couldn't wear it all at once. They'd have to go and cleanse the taint off. Okay, I need a bio break. Uh, so, <clears throat> I will be back. <laughs> Just uh, mute my microphone so you don't hear me in the bathroom. Computer room is still a mess for me, obviously. Yeah, that is much better. <laughs> so, um, anywho, <laughs> yeah, if, if uh, feather fall or, or underwater action was available on a piece of green steel. That would save you having to search for those items. Then, well, the really nice thing about green steel is you're not limited to the usual limitations on what effects can go on what item. If the effect is available, you could put feather falling on a helmet or a necklace <laughs> when it's usually only on the boots, right? I think it's only boots that normally have feather falling. But you're not limited by that. Um, I don't think there's a green steel trinket. Um, oh, okay. So it's a, just a question of... Uh, I assume that everyone here already knows about the green steel planner. Yeah. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone's I'm gone to. The, everyone's gone to this uh, this website and planned out their green steel. <laughs> well, the thing with the Canis, uh items is, you're, you're you're more limited on the level and stuff. Certain effects you need to be. It needs to be a certain level with green steel. The regular items, uh, it's you can wear them at level 11. Yeah. Uh, weapons, you have to wait till level 12. But still, <laughs> there are so many effects. There's so many effects on these things. I mean, uh, there's the uh, there's the uh, the necklace. Then I have this helmet and these goggles. And here's uh, here's a pair of bracers that I can't wear with the necklace. <laughs> and 
And here's a pair of gloves that I can't wear with either of those others. <laughs> so yeah, there's a whole lot of effects you can get on there. Well, you can spend the rest of your life, you know, mini-maxing the uh, whatever crafting system you uh, building your spare time to. Yeah, but I don't think that Kenneth Crafting could give you quite that many effects on any item. Yeah. But so, so actually what I do with my Kenneth Crafting is like for stuff like Featherfall, I, I, I can have Featherfall on anything as long as it has a yellow augment on it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, those are actually pretty easy to find. Relatively, relatively easy to find. Or well, at least were relatively easy to find on the market. Yeah, if I recall correctly, um, when you prepare an item for, for crafting, it keeps any s slots that it has. Yeah. So if you find if you find an item that has some slots, you can you can enchant it with whatever you, you could normally enchant it with, and then you can add augment gems. Yeah. Um, and, I, and now I've been seeing that there's an item with multiple augment You lost your sound? Oh dear. Did, did, did the cat pull out your uh, the plug out of your uh, sound? <laughs> like, meow, I'll fix him. <laughs> Is your uh, speaker or headset plug loose? Since he can't hear me, I might as well, uh... Yeah. That would be the... That's your basic uh, first question of uh, tech... The standard tech support, uh... <laughs> fixing a problem with sound, uh... Is it still plugged in? Yeah. Is it plugged in? <laughs> Is the power turned on? <laughs> Is it a wireless? De is it if it is a wireless device? Is the battery dead? <laughs> if it is not a wireless device, check your connections. So, I think that this group could handle it on normal. Um, I usually uh, take the position of Crystal Smasher and Puzzle Solver. <laughs> that works for me. Uh, I usually help to fight the, uh, the four main guys and then the third one for Crystal Smasher. I, I mean, it just, it's a little tricky. Not, notice that I'm level 22 and you guys are around level 17. Look at our hit points. <laughs> I am very fragile <coughs> compared to any of you guys. Um, so on on elite, those uh, those blades just chop me into little sushi pieces. Uh, um, that so so normal would be great. I could I could like almost ignore those blades. Um, and you'll notice notice what happens to my hit points when I take my necklace off. Yeah, I've, I'm I'm wearing an item that gives me a, a so much goofier with that necklace on. Little bit, little bit. Do you sound like uh, you seem like you have that audio there. Well, I'm up for I'm up to try it if you guys are. At the very least, at the very least, if we do all get killed, we can do it again and farm more materials yeah did that fix your uh, sound there okay if you can't hear us what's the point of asking right <laughs> well well you did it you did a text as well and so he could he can type a response to that and he is that uh Oh, 
Oh, you'll have to wait until the chat server resets. It usually resets about once a half hour, right? I think that's happened since release, right? That's happened since release, right? Every once in a while you see, you have been disconnected from the chat. You have been reconnected to the chat. <laughs> yeah. It's just a reset on the uh, um, the chat server, which is a different, completely different server. I could be losing connection. You know, the little, uh, the little icon that goes from green and turns yellow and starts to tip sideways and then turns red that tells you your, your game is basically screwed and you have to re restart it. I can still chat when that's doing that on voice chat. It's like, I think it's a, a latency indicator that's telling you your, your system is about to take a poop, take a dump right on your <laughs> ability to do anything. So, um, Um, well, if you don't care about XP, uh, you could change the LFM to include levels up to 32. <laughs> I occasionally will have people who will, uh, and then you could probably run it on Elite No Problem if you get three or four guys who are, who are level 32, or even two, one or two guys who are level 32. They could usually solo each, each of the levels. Um... Again, not my decision, not being the team leader. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Are you there, do a grim? <laughs> Son of Duelin. Because <laughs> I know that's not Duelin, because Duelin is spelled D W. <laughs> Well, of course, since this was the first character I created in DDO, uh, basically when the game came out, uh, I used I, I made up the name based on uh, a mixture of um, the la the language of Mordor. Nazg is from that. Uh, uh, she is uh, Japanese for death, so it's like Ring of Death is their first name. Uh, Roga is a wolf, and uh, Ken is a blade, so it's like Death Ring Wolf Blade is the, <laughs> is the name. <laughs> I resisted the urge to put a fufu between the Roga and Ken. <laughs> Roga Fufu Ken is uh, uh, Yamcha's uh, special attack name in Japanese when he first meets Goku. The, they call it the Wolf Fang Fist in the uh, in the English dub, <laughs> but uh, it's the Roga Fufu Ken, <laughs> which is like Wolf uh, something blade. I don't, I'm not, not sure what Fufu means in the middle, but. <laughs> <coughs> well, what do you think? Uh, Do you have any higher level guildies that might want to come, or? That's a very small guild that we have. Ah. It's been around that I created it back in uh, I, when I first joined, which was right after the marketplace event. I missed the marketplace event by a week or so. Oh. Let me see. Um, I can ask my guild. Yeah, 
none of my friends are online. But I put a feeler under my guild. Say, anyone up for Shroud? Anyone at all? <laughs> we just need some more warm bodies. <laughs> Could be a wireless headset problem, but I don't know what he's got. I'm not sure what his hardware is. I think it's actually wired. Well, they usually are. I mean, I don't use wireless myself. Uh, I was trying to troubleshoot it a while last time I was there. So. Uh, no batteries to fail. Okay. <laughs> is it still plugged in? Catch you on your cables. <laughs> oh, it looks like the couple of people just ran up to the shroud. Um, I wonder if they are interested. You want to send them a tell before they go in? <laughs> See if they're interested in joining us. Oh, they went in. Oh well. Oh well. Well, they must not have been looking at the LFM because uh, now it now that it includes my level, it's showing up for me. So, some guppies escaped the tank. <laughs> He's just <laughs> little guppies. Let's spell it right. <laughs> Wearing ninja masks. It's just because, um, well, plus the uh, the shroud weapons no longer adjust for your level, right? Because they're crafted. Uh, I think they, they uh, someone said they changed how the weapons work. So plus five is no longer just plus five damage. It's It's multiplied by a factor based on your level. So, I'm assuming that come that's uh, from one of the new content dungeons or something. Yeah, the, the land of Barovia, the Ravenloft quest line. Okay, so yeah, it's part of the uh, the Curse of Strahd uh, content, right. which I do not own, so I can't do it yet. But <laughs> it, it's definitely worth getting. Well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You see. I only paid for I only paid anything on the game once. You see, I, uh, I, I at the when they when I realized that it was possible to earn everything in the game through gameplay, I said to myself, you know, I'm going to stick to that model. I'm just gonna earn DDO points and uh, through gameplay and buy things that way. Problem is, I keep taking hiatuses from the game, so there's like. A bunch of content I don't own right now. <laughs> um, 
and it does take quite a while to earn like 2,500 uh, store points to get the expensive uh, uh, packages. Um, so there's a lot of content I'm not going to have for a while. Um, I recently asked on the farm, is when are they going to update this record? Well, there's a legendary version, but you have to be real, you have to be real high level to do that, and I'm assuming that that equipment is not going to be any good to you on a, on a respec, or when you, or, or you know, a new life. Well, I can, I I get uh, quest reward weapons that have the the pluses on them still. Yeah, normal, right? Yeah, I think that would be best. Yeah, I'm, I'm fragile. I will, uh, <laughs> I and like I said, all I really need is completions. I wouldn't turn my nose up at at shards, or or ingredients. Uh, I have a bag full of so much ingredients like I don't think that I don't think I could ever run out now. <laughs> I couldn't make green steel fast enough. <laughs> you just, because you have to run the, uh, the the flagging quests to get a a pie slice uh, thing to do the uh, to make green steel. I couldn't do that fast enough to ever run out of upgrade uh, materials. Run out of blank making materials? Sure, I could do that, but, uh... Well, looks like Durgrim is just going to be, uh... Muted. <laughs> or <laughs> silent. So... Time's up. Let's do this. Yeah, the, uh, reason, the yeah, I know. I've seen that uh, like five times in the last couple of weeks. It's uh, it's weird that it that used to happen very very rarely. Something uh, changed, yeah, that, and now it's a lot more common. Yep. <laughs> so, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> And uh, we've got to go see the corpses of the uh, of the uh, old Gauntlet characters from the uh, the arcade game Gauntlet. Their corpses are lying here, right at the entrance. They definitely look like they need food badly. They look a little thin to me. Yep, yep. The if you look at it, it's like. The green elf, the red warrior, the yellow wizard, the blue Valkyrie. <laughs> those are the those are the characters you could play in uh, uh, in the arcade game uh, Gauntlet. Okay, and here we go. And not everybody realizes it, but that's what those corpses are. You can actually loot their equipment but it it just they all disappear by at the end of the shroud so <laughs> actually now they 
disappear at the end of this part. Oh, you can't even use them in the rest of the shroud? Okay. <laughs> I guess they got tired of people uh, trying to find a way to cheese it and, and, and keep, somehow get them out of the shroud. Though they're, they were always quest items. I mean, uh, you exit, you drop them. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, keep an eye out for uh, any uh, uh, portal keepers that might uh, come in. None of us are level 32, so we can't just uh, power these things down in a few seconds. Should probably uh, do a little bit of patrolling and make sure we don't get any portal keepers up. Because you know, if they're up too long, it'll fail the, uh, the shroud. I have occasionally seen them come up without a warning. <coughs> Usually there's a warning, but sometimes I've gone up, run up to a portal and saw a portal keeper already standing there. At least on normal, I could pretty much handle the, the mobs without help. <laughs>
Yeah, I didn't, and I didn't see any warning. Uh, where is he? Did you get him? You got him? Okay, excellent. Okay, I was like, yeah, like I said, it doesn't always give you a warning when the portal keepers show up. Um, We're getting it. <laughs> Slowly but surely. And he says, don't call me Shirley. Okay. Portals, portals everywhere. then my voice volume up at a hundred but you're kind of quiet uh, how's your um, microphone gain setting there Belarian um, all right well you're just very soft-spoken I guess Just need to Ooh. all right let's everybody lead our uh, our stuff to the entrance before we get the bosses There's quite a few uh, enemies here. <laughs> oh, bosses are already at the entrance. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure none of them are on me. Um... It looks like I grabbed some aggro. Uh, from the bosses. 
I did not want to do so because I wanted to be the, the crystal smasher. Um, Okay, I've got the uh, the kobold and uh, the lion on me. Um, oh, and the uh, and the knoll. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, I think. Uh, Well, at least they're all separated. Uh, can anybody go uh, and be on crystal duty? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get oh, these guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to get these guys off of me. Um, I got three of them chasing me. I think I clipped them with my uh, crossbow as I was cleaning up some of the trash mobs. Um, well, let's see. How can we fix this? Uh, if I can't get the aggro, if I can't get the aggro off, we can kill them all and let them respawn, and then go. Uh, and somebody can go re-aggro them uh, from scratch, because we do need somebody. Well, I've, uh, I've got three of them chasing me, uh, and unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, got two here. well, okay, uh, looks like only the lion is still on me. Could somebody smack this lion? Tell him bad kitty? Oh, uh, uh-oh, well, like, like I said, it uh, might be best to just kill them all for now. Let them respawn, then you guys can aggro them, and and I won't have to chase. Uh, <sighs> also, I think they're easier to kill if you uh, once you kill them once. I think you can then kill them without separating them as as much. Um, okay, let's. Uh, Yeah, the lion that I couldn't get off of me. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> At least he's... And he's the fastest one, too. So, once he's dead... Just wait until it says Nimrissir the Ruthless uh, is back. Okay, because he is super fast. So, whoever the best tank is... Go to the center and get their attention. Okay. So, who's who's going to lead them back to the entrance? I'll try to get them. All right. So I will stand off to the side once they chase you back to the entrance. I will get on the <laughs> All right, I am at the crystal. So if you guys can uh, prep and kill them, I will be ready to smash this crystal as soon as the shield goes down. Just have to aim my uh, camera at the thing and keep spamming the tab key until it targets. <laughs> then I could fire my uh, rune arm at it, and usually a few shots after the rune arm will. Uh... Oh! Dwaygrim went down. Um.
How's it looking, guys? Are they almost prepped? Oh, I see a rock box. There's only about... Oop, he's going off on somebody. I got the oh, he's following somebody. I don't know why Dave... He's following Dewey. And of course, typing is rather difficult to do while you're fighting. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally focused on trying to kill him. I'm keeping him. I'm mm -hmm. running off. How's it looking over there? Just be sure when you when you cast, because he is fast. I yeah, think the man is, I don't know, about twenty percent. And you also have the close. the fire elemental is also quick. I think one of them went down. I just saw a. Uh... Did he? These guys down? Or... Um, yeah, get down as quick as you can. Yeah. Nope. Um, the lion had gone down and he reached the center. I think. Because well. it says that's what happens when it's yeah, rezzed. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. If you kill him fast enough before I could get back to the center. Nope. Nah, the earth, uh, the earth elemental is back up. So just prep the lion. Uh, somebody come back to, over to the center. We'll have to be careful. Yeah, they're, they're all back up, and they're all following you guys to the leader. Okay, I'm headed for the entrance. Let's try this again. <laughs> At least you put it in the in the uh, type chat. Don't kill the lion till the very end. <laughs> yeah, the um. Killing the, killing the bosses gives you uh, five guild renown, so I can see when they go down. That's how I knew. So one of them. So do you want to bring him back to this point? The south. Side? I think that's the farthest wherever away Dave, from. It, wherever Dewey's trying to fight him, I can't feel him, man. Feel him. Um, he's at 
Somebody type kill in the chat so that below um, Duarg knows. Three, two, one, done. Kill, kill, kill. Crystal's down. <laughs> he says, say when to drop. Well, the, the crystal's down. <laughs> so, yeah, that... We got a lot of slow ones, except for the lion. <laughs> and the lion was the first one to go down the first time. It's like, uh, man. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what it is that triggers the, uh, the all-solved thing. It might be have to do with hitting this altar really quick before this before the puzzles can reset can set themselves. I don't. Yeah, they're pre-solved. I don't. I don't know if that was the case, but they are pre-solved. So we just need to go and uh, get into the. Uh, Um, all we have to do is get into the fountain and uh, run water. And do try not to step on the yellow runes. I believe those uh, give you hard wilting or something and uh, dispel magic, your, uh, your fast movement or something and things. So try not to... Yep, yep, yep. Whoop. Looks like they are solved. Yep. So, we didn't need to solve them after all. Which means the chests are, are already available, if anyone is interested. We just need to... We just need to run water, and, uh... Ugh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what causes that bug, bug but it's incredibly useful. <laughs> it's like pre-solved. <laughs> it makes runs ever so much more quick. Far less chance of somebody who literally can't solve the puzzle walking all over the buttons while someone else is trying to solve it. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Get off my buttons! <laughs> <laughs> we would never do that to each other. <clears throat> it's like, get that pet off of my puzzle. <laughs> we would never forget to have our hirelings stand still. Well, you can't have hirelings in a raid, but... <laughs> but, if, but if the wizard has... If the wizard has a skeleton pet out, or... The artificer has a dog out. <laughs> and they're incredibly e easy to solve, too. If you have the solver up in an alternate window, just re you know, solve it up except for the last row. Solve all you can. Just light everything up down to one row. Re replicate what you see in the solver. And then look at the top row and just step on whatever buttons are, are you need to step on on the top row. And then solve it the same way, row by row. Just light up the things, and by the time you get to the other end, it's solved. <laughs> and of course, if it's a 4x4, four four, then you just solve it row by row, and it pretty much is already solved. 4x4s four are super easy. All the other ones, you might need the solver.
Well, I just, I'm just saying that there's a, it's just there's a way to, yeah, there's just a way to, the thing is, is there just a way to do it without having to read the entire solver solution? <laughs> the row by row thing means that you only need to hit the right buttons on that, that first row. Then the rest, you just solve it row by row until you're done, you know? <laughs> so. Well, yeah, you break the crystals, but a lot of people get upset when you do that. It's like, hey, what are you doing to my bonus chests, man? <laughs> And especially since there's really no way to do it, if you if you have the solver, just just use that method that I just mentioned, and it's basically, you know, easy peasy. Even the six by six, you can solve it really fast that way. is the only phase to get great shards. Everything else is either supreme or regular. <laughs> Not that I don't like supreme shards. <laughs> yeah, you know, it requires two of them to make the green steel. Assuming you want the uh, tier effect. So all we have to do is take down Harry. I'll be using uh, ranged attacks, so I'm going to be um, watching the boards carefully, and I can warn you when it's getting too close, okay? Uh, someone's going to have to warn Do uh, Dewey, though, because he can't hear me. I love my shard of Zoriat. <laughs> they are so hard to get, though. That damn puzzle. I mean, if you if you look it up on the wiki, there's a solution there to each version of the puzzle. But you have to get everybody else and let you do it. And there's always one guy in every group who thinks he knows how to solve it and thinks it's oh so easy and doesn't realize, hey, you, you turn the left side, the right side turns to you. You turn the bottom, the top turns. You turn the front and the back turns. It's, it's not that easy. <laughs> Okay, everybody got their silver good weapons?
Okay, guys, time to start thinking about getting out of there. Okay, looks like we're going to have one round with the healers. Or not. No, nope, okay. <laughs> And, uh, of course, everybody knows the healers, right? You gotta get the, uh, the knolls down as you can. Let's get our Okay. Shard of Zoriat, but things. That's much better. Unfortunately, I think uh, when we teleport into the final phase, die into the final phase, I don't think that that. It kills some too, doesn't it? I think so. So. I could dream, though. Teleport in there with a the beholder. Yeah, your summons disappear when you die, so... Yeah, probably. Probably, definitely. <laughs> sure. Okay, is everybody ready? The altar of the lost moon. Okay, the beholder is here. That's weird. Okay. I guess I was wrong. I had assumed that uh, that he wouldn't make it. <laughs> well, he didn't die. He didn't live long, but he he made it 
do the teleport. But, uh... Yeah, the, the Earth Elemental paralyzed him, and then the, uh... The Cobalt knocked him down. <laughs> weird. <laughs> well, hello there, Harry. I've got a good aligned silver repeating crossbow for you. Take that, Harry. <laughs> Everybody calls him Harry. I guess they're all we're all uh, using the Cockney uh, uh, version of his name, huh? Parrot tree ghost, you know. <laughs> And this phase of the shroud is why you can't run it on the server. At least you could be three steel. You just can't get it. Hey, we actually got XP? That's a surprise. <laughs> For me, anyway. I, I got zero. You got zero? How come I got, like, 10,000? I think we got the uh, power level. Or maybe that's, uh, I only got, maybe I only got XP because it was my first run through on normal. We got the power leveling penalty in here. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, I, I did too. Minus 75 percent. Still left uh, 2,000 for the base. Uh, yeah. I got about 10,000 next base. So, oh well. Sorry about that. <laughs> just, just, just another reason I'll die an old and bitter man. I didn't get any XP that one time. Oh, well. <laughs> Completion was fairly easy. We had a we had a little art in in phase two, but we got lucky in phase three and had all the puzzles pre-solved. <laughs> yep. 
And now uh, we got another. Excellent. He got his. Uh, he got the shard he was looking for. Huh? Very nice. He's got no sound, but he but he got the shard he needed. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, letting me come with you to get another completion. Somebody who could break the, have somebody who could break the crystal. <laughs> yes. yeah. Well, yeah. Medium ingredients. Uh, you'll have them eventually. <laughs> you could do the old-fashioned. Uh, farming trick where you where you go yeah everything except the last phase and <laughs> just for ingredients we, we have done that. so it's like I need those supreme shards ah <laughs> uh. Sounds a little uh, fanny, like you got a fan running or something. <coughs> well, uh, thank you for me. Let me type quest in my uh, chat here and see. That gives me twelve uh, runs of the shroud. And I have two uh, uh, reset timers, or timer reset thingies. Somebody gave me a stack of ten of them it's like once. It's like, oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. Well, again, thanks for through. I think I'm going to end my stream for now. And uh, if, if you want to put me on your friend list and hit me up for uh, uh, when you need some help, uh, in the future, uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't mind. <laughs> I can barely hear you, Dwergrim, but uh, at least you could hear us, right? <laughs> uh, that's a little better, uh, but you got yeah, yeah, apparently you've got a fan or something running in the room there. It's uh, coming over your mic. It can't be helped, right? Okay, yeah, um, I will uh, uh, and log off, and uh, thank you very much for the run, folks. Yeah, and if, like I said, if you want to add me to your friends list, uh, I can uh, help you out. Okay, let's end the stream. You guys have a good night, uh, my viewers, and uh